Welcome back video viewers. Today I am going to talk about how we interact with objects inside of Blender. And what I mean by interacting is how do we scale, how do we move, how do we rotate. And there's two or three ways that we can do that. Um, some ways we can refine our adjustments in increments and other ways we can make big bold moves. And I talked about this a little bit in the other video tutorials. I think when you're starting out it's helpful to use this little manipulator tool. It kind of it shows us all those um, ways to transform or move an object. We can rotate we can scale, um, but sometimes, and I think after you get a little more comfortable with Blender, you're not going to want to use those manip that manipulator handle. <laughs> we'll see. I I use them quite often. It's just kind of a real quick way of um, aligning things. And I don't have to think about it too much. So that's kind of why I like to, to use them. But we do have a couple of other ways that we can, uh, and I'll turn that off. We can go up here, if we hit T, that turns our toolbar on. And we can click on Translate. And now we have our item selected and we're moving it. Now when I hit translate, you see that I have, I mean the thing I don't like about it is that my mouse is up here and my object's over there. If I hit the X key, that allows me to translate or move along that X axis. Now if I hit translate again, I can hit the Y key and move it along my Y axis if I want to. And once again, I can hit translate and I can move that up and down along my Z axis. All right, same thing with scale. If I want to scale it in proportion, I'll just click. If I want to scale it in the Z axis, and I can hit the Z, and that's what I don't like about this tool over here is that it kind of brings me away from my object. So if I want to scale, I can use the keyboard shortcut or the hotkey of S. And if I just scale, I'm going to scale in proportion, but if I hit Z, and this is kind of the way I like to work because my cursor is right here, so I'm scaling in the Z axis. Scaling in the x-axis and scaling in the y-axis. So S, keyboard shortcut for that. And G is grab, so if I grab, I can move this object anywhere. And if I want to constrain it, I tap the X key, Y key, and the Z key. And you'll kind of see that little bar pop up, allowing us to see where we're going to drop that. So G for grab, and then tap your axis key that you want to move it on. Okay. Right click, scale along the axis, and then we can rotate. So if we want to rotate, we can rotate freely or we can tap the X key, the Y key, or the, yes, I heard someone say, heard someone say the Z key. All 
All right, let's say that you want to move this. And I'm going to hit G, Z, and I'm going to just move that down right there. Let's say you want to move it incrementally and you want to have a little bit more fine-tune ability. If we tap the N key, that brings up our little toolbar here. And we can say we can transform this. We can change the location of our X, Y, and Z. So if I click and drag here, I get big movements. So if I, if I get it about where I want it, and I want to change this um, location, then I can either go down by clicking these little arrows and you'll see it going down 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 or if I want to click I can just nudge it basically alright so if I want to um, rotate and if I get it off then I can come in here and I can either nudge it or I can just say, well, I know that that's probably going to be a minus 90. So if I just click there, I can say minus 90 degrees. So I can do it by the numbers. And I want to uh, center that. So I needed to move it along my X axis. So I'm just going to click, 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 click. And you'll see it moving over. All right, so we can move items over here. We can fine tune over here. And if you have exact dimensions, so let's say I wanted this to be 14 inches by, uh, how about a two by two? I can just change my dimensions right here to be the exact size that I want, um, uh, want my object to be. All right, I think that is it for simple object uh, transform and manipulation. Once again, I thank you for your comments, and I will see you down the road in yet another video tutorial. Thank you.